Good morning children. Children, today we will be discussing question bank given by SSC board of science 1. Children, in this video I have selected the objective questions of lesson number 1 gravitation and lesson number 2 periodic classification of element. So we will be discussing the MCQs of these two lessons in this video. I have also provided with the answers to those MCQs. Okay. So let's begin. So children let us begin with lesson number one gravitation. Question number one A. Choose correct alternative. First one. Dash is necessary to change the speed as well as the direction of motion of an object. Options are force, inertia, momentum, motion. So the correct answer is force. Second, orbit of a planet revolving around the sun or star is dash. Options are circular, straight, in the direction of foci point and elliptical. So, correct answer is elliptical. Let's see the third one. The square of its period of revolution around the sun is directly proportional to the dash of the mean distance of a planet from the sun. Options are square square root, cube or cube root? Yes, the correct answer is cube. So the square of its period of revolution around the sun is directly proportional to the cube of the mean distance of a planet from the sun. Understood children? Fourth one. Gravitational force of attraction between two objects is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two object and is dash of the distance between them. Options are inversely proportional to the square, directly proportional to the square, inversely proportional to the cube or inversely proportional to the square root. Answer is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Okay. Let's see the fifth one. In SI units, the value of universal gravitational constant that is G is what? Options are first 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newtons per meter, Newton meter square per kg square. B. 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 Nm per kg. C. 9.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 Nm per kg. Or D. 9.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 nm square per kg square. So the SI unit, in SI unit the value of universal gravitational constant that is g is 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 nm square per kg square. Sixth one, the dash force is much weaker than other forces in nature. Yes, it is gravitational force. Seventh one. The value of gravitational acceleration G is dash. Highest at the poles, highest at the equator, same everywhere on the surface of the earth or lowest at the poles. Yes, it is highest at the poles. Eighth one. The value of G 
is dash at the equator yes from the options the correct answer is 9.78 meter per second square ninth one free fall is possible only in dash in air in vacuum on the surface of earth or none of this yes it is correct the correct option is in vacuum only free fall is possible only in vacuum tenth one the weight of any of object on the moon is nearly dash of the weight on the earth option a one sixth one eighth half or two sixth so the correct answer over here is one sixth eleventh one a person weighing 60 newton on earth will have dash weight on the moon and the options are 360n 60n 6n or 10n answer is 10 newton now children we will see the question bank of lesson number 2 Periodic classification of elements. Here, let's see the next. Dobrinier proposed dash law. Periodic, modern periodic, octaves or triads. So, the correct answer is triads. Newland's law of octaves was applicable only up to dash. Options are oxygen, calcium, cobalt, potassium. Yes, children, the correct answer is calcium. Fourteenth one, elements X and Y have similar properties and follow Newland's law of octaves. There are minimum and maximum elements between them. So, how many are those? Options are 6 and 8, B, 7 and 15, C, 8 and 14, and option D, 6 and 13. Yes, children, the correct answer is option D, 6 and 13. Moving ahead with question number 15. When Mendeleev put forth the periodic table, elements were known how many elements were known to, uh, when Mendeleev put forth the periodic table, children? Options are 56, 65, 63 or 118. So, the correct answer is 63. Next question. Eka silicon in Mendeleev's periodic table later on named as dash. Options are scandium. Gallium, Germanium or Thorium? Answer is Germanium. Next, number of groups and periods in modern periodic table is dash and dash. Options are Option A, 16, 7 Option B, 6, 16 Option C, 18, 7. Option D. 18. 6. Yes. The correct option is 18. 7. The next question. In the second period, almost outermost shell is dash. K. L. N. So, the correct answer is L. Next. Group 1 and 2 form dash block. So, options are S, T, Q, F. Yes, the correct answer is option A, S. Which of the following pair of atomic numbers is in the same group? Options are 11, 19, 6, 12, 4, 16, 
or option D 817? Yes, the correct answer is 1119. Which of the following element is most electropositive? Options are Mg that is magnesium, Na sodium, Al aluminium, Cl chlorine. So the correct answer is B, Na sodium. Next, arrange the following elements in decreasing order of their metallic character. The elements are Na, Si, Cl, Mg, Al. So here the correct answer is option B. Next, atomic number of the elements dash while going left to the right in the period. So what happens? Options are increases. Decreases, initially goes on decreasing then starts to increase or remains the same? Yes, the correct answer is it increases. Understood children? Which of the following does not increase while going top to bottom in periodic table? So what is the thing which does not increase while glowing? While going top to bottom, options are atomic size, metallic character, valency or number of shells. Answer, valency. Next question, which of the following statement is true for modern periodic table? First, 18 horizontal rows are called periods. 7 vertical columns are called groups. 18 vertical columns are called groups. Or 7 horizontal rows are called groups. The correct answer here is 18 vertical columns are called groups. Understood children? Next question. Elements in D block called as dash elements. So what are they called? Transition, metalloids, inner transition or main group. Yes, they are called as transition elements. Atomic size is indicated by its dash. Atomic mass, atomic radius, number of shells or atomic number. Yes, it is indicated by atomic radius. Distance between nucleus and outermost shell is what? Absolutely correct. It is atomic radius. Atomic radius is expressed in unit dash. Nanometer, picometer, micrometer or millimeter. Answer is picometer. The tendency of element to form cations is dash of element. Options are non-metallic character, basic property, metallic character or acidic property. Answer is metallic character. Next question. In halogen family, Dash is a liquid element. So which one of these is a liquid element in halogen family? Fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine? Answer is bromine. Next question. While going down in a group, atomic radius dash goes on increasing, goes on decreasing, Remains the same or none of these? Answer is goes on increasing. Next question. The tendency of element to form anion is dash. Non-metallic character, basic property, 
metallic character or acidic property? Yes, answer is non-metallic character. Next question. Elements in zero group are called dash. Options are alkali metals, alkaline earth metals, halogens or noble gas. Yes, children. The correct answer is noble gas. Elements in zero groups are called as noble gas. Understood, children? So, with this, children, we have finished discussing the MCQs provided by the SSC board. Okay? I hope everyone has understood. Children, please go through these MCQs. This will surely help you in your board exams. All the best for your exam, children. Stay calm and study hard. Take care. All the best children. Thank you.